Welcome back to Tame Slade Info. As the delivery of the first Tejas Mark 1A fighter by February 2024 is still on track by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, it is said that all possible powerful missile trials and integration with this variant of Tejas would be expedited and completed before the delivery. This video will provide vital details about the various missiles which are already integrated and which would be integrated very soon with the Tejas Mark 1A fighters. Let's begin with the details of the air to air missiles which have already been integrated with Tejas Mark 1A. Tejas Mark 1A fighters are already integrated with Israeli Python 5 air to air missiles. The Python 5 is currently the most capable air to air missile which is available in the Israel's inventory and one of the most advanced air to air missile in the world. As a beyond visual range missile, the Python 5 is capable of lock on after launch and it has full spear all direction attack ability. Next in the list is the IDER BER which is a long range beyond visual range air to air missile based on the combat proven derby family of missiles. Next missile to be mentioned is the R-73 short-range air-to-air missile of the Soviet Union which has already been integrated with the Tejas Mark 1A variant. The air-to-air missiles which are being planned to be integrated are Astra Mark 1, the MBDS Advanced Short-Range Air-to-Air Missile, the R-77 Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air Missile of Russia Origin. The Indian Air Force aims to make the advanced short-range air-to-air missile of MBDA its standardized dogfighting missile across multiple aircraft types including the Tejas. The trial of the advanced short-range air-to-air missile will very soon commence during 2023 tentatively. For now, the first priority is to finish the integration and all pending trials of the Astra Mark 1 air-to-air missile. For a missile to be completely integrated in a fighter, it should complete two vital trials and they are captive trials and firing trials. The other missile which is also being planned is the Scalp Long Range Air Launched Cruise Missile which has a range of approximately 560 km. Even though the plan is to integrate these missiles on Tejas Mark II, according to few sources, this might also be integrated on Tejas Mark 1A as well, but nothing is confirmed for now. Coming to air to ground missiles, even though Tejas can fire the KH series Russian cruise missiles, there are plans to integrate the Rudram 1 air to surface, ground attack, and anti radiation missiles. Next in the list is the Brahmos NG supersonic cruise missile, which is expected to be integrated on Tejas platform by 2025 since the first of test flight is expected to take place in 2024 tentatively. Since there are many options for Tejas Mark 1A, it is said that Tejas Mark 1A will be the first fighter jet in the Indian Air Force fleet to have a dual pylon rack for increased beyond visual range air-to-air missile carrying capacity, which is indeed a very good option. Apart from these air-to-air and air-to-surface missiles, these Tejas Mark 1A fighters will be able to carry anti-ship missiles and a variety of other bombs. This video was just to share the list of the air-to-air and air-to-surface missiles which are already integrated and which are being planned to be integrated on Tejas Mark 1A fighters. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tameslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates.